Hello guys, and welcome to the Yellow Monkey Time Trial World Record Progression. Today I'm going to be showing you guys an example run on how to run this time trial and sort of the strategies that you use. Then I'm going to be talking about the runs and the runners who have pushed this to where it is now. Um, so what I'll say, what I have to say about this level is it's very much one where a normal run and a world record caliber run visually will look the same and I know it's it's the same with a lot of these but this one especially it really looks the same so first you sprint here as fast as you can and you spam and the reason we're going to be doing these spams is going to be to uh, stop his little animations so I'll let one play right here and you'll see that he's going to do these little like animations like that but if you hit him then you can actually stun him and skip those animations and that's gonna that's gonna make it much uh, faster overall on a speed run so pretty much all the time save is gonna come from that first hoop session section um, how fast you can spin your little stick and uh, stall him and this very last part right here so you're gonna do whoops <laughs> So you're gonna do another, wow, nice. You're gonna do another stall right here, right? And uh, he's gonna come and you're gonna make this last hit and then you have to do a dive towards the center. And from there, you're gonna have an unintuitive net direction where you're gonna have to swing and catch this monkey. Um, so yeah, that was a 54, which is pretty bad. Um, but believe it or not, it's not too far off from the world record, um, as you'll see. So this is very much one of those where uh, you're shaving, you're shaving a little bit off every time, and it you may it may not be clear how you did that from run to run. Um, so the first run that we have uh, is going to be from 2011, April, in fact. And this is a run from Earl Cash 05. Now, if you don't already know about Earl Cash, he's a French runner who uh, back in 2011 did uh, runs of all the Ape One time trials. And he was sort of the first one to uh, to really play these in like, a, in like an actual speed run format. And it's very clear like with his times that it wasn't just like a first attempt thing. Like he clearly put some time in um, and so he was able to pull off a 43 second run even, uh, which would go on to remain the record for a long time as his runs were well ahead of their time in terms of people really pushing to optimize these records. So the actual next run we'll see is gonna be a run from 2016, uh, November 24th. And that's gonna be a run from one of the lesser known members of the community, uh, Nico Coffee. And at the time, this this took world record, um, which was sort of strange because Nico Coffee wasn't really an elite runner uh, in any sense, but this is sort of the one area where they decided to push themselves and push for that world record. Um, so they came out with a time of 42 uh, seconds and 700 milliseconds. Um, so that's a 0.3 time cut. And believe it or not, that's actually a lot. Um, you're usually you're usually swinging uh, your runs in about that area when you're doing attempts, at least in my experience. Uh, one will be 0.3 faster, 0.3 slower, so on and so forth. Um, and so the next run to be performed is actually the current world record performed by a much less obscure runner by the name of Yuri Speedruns. And he actually only did this because I encouraged him to, right? So I was looking at the time trial's leaderboard and it frustrated me that all the time trial records were taken by relatively top players. Uh, other than Nico Coffee, right? Um, Nico Coffee was the one exception, and I kind of wanted all these time trial runners, all these time trial records to be taken by, like, top substantial runners, and I knew that there was time to improve there. So, a after a little bit of bullying from me, uh, Yuri decided to do an attempts, 
uh, I actually reached out to Yuri um, before making this video, and what he had to say about his run was he only did it really because I sort of pushed him to, and he really didn't remember it being too hard. Uh, but in a later comment during that stream, he would say that it was a little harder than he thought it would be, and that's probably because there were only two runners on the board, and one of them was less well-known than, say, Tyzera, who has held dozens of time trial world records over the years. Um, but nevertheless, he would go ahead and take the record down to a 41.9, um, which is actually where it currently still stands today. So there were two more runs that were submitted. The next one would be would be my run uh, with a second place time of 42.6. Uh, so essentially, I remember after Yuri did his runs, mine was achieved. His was achieved uh, on 08, and mine were, was achieved on 09. So we achieved ours a month apart, but. I remember after seeing him do it, I was sort of into time trials at the time, and I decided that this is one that I should give a look to. Um, and so I started doing attempts, and I really felt like Nico Coffee's time was beatable. Um, and uh, just like Yuri did, I assume. So I decided to go and see what I could do. Um, and so I remember this one personally being very frustrating. I think I played for like four or five hours uh, before I finally got, uh, uh, before I finally beat Nico Coffee's time, and I remember having several on pace where I would miss that final dive or like swing my net the wrong direction, and it ended up being a very frustrating uh, little grind for me. But I was very happy. I claimed my second place, and I was very happy to leave it there because anytime I sort of try to push Yuri's times, I, I find that they're more trouble than they're worth because his, te his technical skill level is just higher than mine uh, at this moment. So uh, I decided second place, I'm happy with that. So this story continues a little bit further, but I won't speak too much about it. Um, it's Devil Dude would come in uh, a, a couple months after uh, us in November, and he would, af I believe I was making fun of him on stream uh, that he couldn't beat my yellow time, and so he decided to do some attempts, and I think once he got a taste of it, he really felt like he could do it, kind of like I did, and he sort of kept doing attempts until he was able to pull out a 42.5, beating me by 0.1 seconds. Um, now, I won't say any, any more about this, because the only comment I, I uh, got from Devil was not to use any of his content or he'd take me to court. Uh, so that's going to be the end of this video, um, unfortunately. Uh, I really do hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I really enjoyed running this level, and I enjoyed telling you guys about the speed lore of this level. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hope you have a good rest of your day, night, or whenever you're watching this. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.